Hi everyone, welcome to Apple Tech page. In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix phone number not showing up in iMessage and FaceTime on iPhone and iPad. Solution 1 is turn off and turn on iMessage and FaceTime. To do this, go to settings app. Now scroll down the screen to find messages, then tap it. Turn off iMessage, then go back. Here, find and tap on FaceTime. Now turn off FaceTime. Once you turned off, restart your iPhone. To restart your iPhone, go to Settings app. Next, tap on General. Scroll down the screen to bottom and tap on Shutdown. Now drag the slide to power up slider to right side to turn off your iPhone. Wait for 30 seconds and turn on your iPhone. Once you turned on your iPhone, enable iMessage and FaceTime. Solution 2 is sign out of iMessage and FaceTime and sign in back. Go to settings app. Next, find and tap on messages. Now tap on send and receive. Here tap on your Apple ID. Tap on sign out in the pop up window, then go back. Here tap on FaceTime. Now tap on your Apple ID and tap sign out. Once you signed out of iMessage and FaceTime, wait for 30 seconds. Under iMessage, tap use your Apple ID for iMessage, then tap sign in and enter your Apple ID and password. To sign in to FaceTime, tap use your Apple ID for FaceTime under FaceTime, then enter your Apple ID and password. Solution 3 is make sure that date and time is correct. To check that, go to settings app. Find and tap on general. Next, tap on date and time. Make sure that set automatically is turned on. If already turned on, then turn off and on it. Solution 4 is reset network settings. Reset network settings resets your Wi-Fi networks and passwords, APN and VPN settings and cellular settings. To do this, go to Settings app. Next, find and tap on General. Now scroll down the screen to bottom and tap on Reset. Here, tap on Reset Network Settings. Then enter the passcode of your iPhone. In the pop-up window, tap Reset Network Settings to confirm this process. Solution 5 is First restart your iPhone. If you are using iPhone 8 and later models and iPhone SE second generation, then do the following steps to first restart. Quickly press and release the volume up button. Next, quickly press and release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you are using iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, then do the following steps. Press and hold the sleep or wake button and volume down button at the same time until you see the Apple logo. If you are using iPhone 6s Plus and earlier models, then do the following steps. Press and hold the home button and side button at the same time until you see the Apple logo. Solution 6 is sign out of iCloud and sign in back. Launch settings app. Now tap on your name, then scroll down the screen to bottom and tap sign out. Next, you will be prompted to enter your Apple ID password. Once entered your password, tap turn off, then follow the instructions to sign out. Wait for few seconds, then sign in back to iCloud. Solution 7 is Reset All Settings. Resetting the all settings will reset your customized settings to default settings 
but data or media will be not deleted. To do this, go to settings app. Next, find and tap on general. Now scroll down the screen to bottom and tap reset. Tap on reset all settings. Then enter the passcode of your iPhone if prompted. Tap reset all settings in the pop up window to confirm this process. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, and subscribe to Apple Tech page.